So we're back in the same spot again, I've been before. I decided just to put up a massive shelter and the fire is going to heat the area and that will reflect it in. I'll be roasting. Round one, fight! Put a wee bit of power on that. It's good like I use it from a fire rod. It's awesome, invincible. <coughs> yeah. Uh, right, that's probably silky smooth, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? Literally. Give it a try with this one next to me and see what you think. Just do ah. comparison. Set up camera there, I'll show the two. So there's the silky shot. Let's see a sight comparison to the Laplander, isn't it? Yeah, Barker Laplander. Barker Laplander. So there's the two saws. Seen the silky went through that like butter quite well. So we locking mechanism on it there. We can axe that. That's the job. What axe is it? It's a uh, Brandy. It's only Brandy. 35 quid. Nice one. Decent bit of kit. Sharp. Not even sharpened it yet. <laughs> Round two. Fight! A few moments later. Later that same evening. It's not quite as smooth as the uh, nah, silky, is it? It's good and small stuff. But the bigger stuff itself is just a bit more smooth. Alright, uh, it's taking a wee bit more effort with that one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. What's the saw blade there? Uh, length comparison. I think the silky is like a bit silky, bigger as well, is silky, it? That's silky, that's quite bigger. Yeah. I think it depends on the model as well. Mm. So you got the pocket boy, which is a bit smaller. I think it's silky bites a bit better as well. Yeah. There we go. That's good. That's not bad. You win. Perfect. So I think Silky's definitely our winner here. Um, they're both very good saws, don't get me wrong. Um, I think for a beginner, maybe get the Laplander just because it's uh, half the price. Um, still a very good saw, um, just the Silky's a lot faster I think and I would I would go for that um, if you've got the extra oh, money. But don't get me wrong, they're both good saws and I would recommend them both. Out of the box? Yeah, not very. So the shred's crap. <laughs> Don't get a shred knife. It's crap so far. That compared to, let's try the more. Yeah, 
There we go. Look at that, look at the difference. Can't be bad for the mower, the mower's the way forward. 14 pounds for the mower. How much for the trade? 32 quid for the trade. Straight away I'd recommend the mower HD over the trade. Just for general use. The sheath broke on that. A nice crap. Maybe it'll be better when I give it a wee sharpen up, but out of the box it's not very impressive. I'm going to get all of this wet bark off of the log if you're going to use it for firewood. Make it a lot easier to catch. There we go. So, the trade's not done very well, mate. No. <laughs> not impressed with that so far. I'm not really impressed with the trade anymore. I like the axe, but. That was brilliant. No. Just uh, put this for all sorts of tests today. Aye. See if it does anything well. See if it does anything good. <laughs> Feel the most. Might as well try it with battling then. Aye. Bet it shatters. I bet it shatters as well, but if it does, it does. There's a reason more. It's tried and tested and recommended by everyone. Royal stamp for approval from the King of Sweden as well. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Okay, actually battens pretty well. It's gone straight through that, but I suppose that's to be good at something. Aye, uh, it looked like a good battener. Just uh, disappointed at the sheath and the lack of sharpness at the box. I'll give it a wee sharp up and try it again next time, see if it's any better. Uh, sheath. The, sheath. Like the, sheath. the sheath broke straight away, so that's no good at all. So I think we've given the Shrade 30 a bit of a bad reputation here. It's just the sheath and the lack of sharpness out of the box, but uh, the sheath isn't the main thing. You know, that can be replaced, at least the knife's okay. And the sharpness issue, that can be sharpened up and remedied. So we'll take it out again and try it again. Sorry for buttoning. Your keyboard? Uh, no, the... Or your garbage? Garbage. Cable. Yeah, it's quite good actually. Is it? Yeah. Imagine it would be a razor sharp like the box, wouldn't it, that one? Oh, yes. It's literally shaving your arm. That's good, that. Awesome. That's just a couple of bits of cotton wool you got down there. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I just caught straight away. That's like the best knife ever. Especially for... considering we're minus five degrees at the minute. Yeah, and it's wet as well. Yeah. So more Garberg's probably that's... the best striking knife ever. That's the best I've ever seen. Yeah, that's gone and that's just a bunch of uh, kindling wood chucked on top. Just went up the tree. Some thicker logs underneath to stop the moistness destroying the fire. Look at that. Yeah. What's that? 30 seconds? 30 seconds. That's brilliant. Easy. Fantastic, man. I've got the best of gear now, like. Sir? I've got the best of gear now. Aye. Uh, you need. I'm really impressed with that ferro rod strike from the garbage. Well worth it, like, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's brilliant.
I haven't been able to do much recording because the weather is getting that bad and uh, it's dark now it's getting dark later now which is pretty good the snow is coming in really really heavy um, I just need to get the fire going so we've got the chicken cooking there in our main fire some bacon as well and then we've got the long fire going here just for a bit of heat and then the shelter I put it up and then I put another poncho up there keep the snow coming in from the side and then I've got brushwood there that's going to keep the elements off us a bit That looks good to me, mate. I'm happy with that. Moist, yeah. That looks brilliantly done, actually. Oh, aye. Oh, that looks lovely. That's a little steam. Yeah. Yeah, that looks cooked, doesn't it? Definitely. That's moist as hell as well. Perfect. What's that? Perfect. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, I. No, it's perfect. Mm. You can't cook it better than that in an oven. Oh, that's that's amazing. No, it's gorgeous. Let's go out with our knives in. Yep. Sounds good to me. The old water out. So I had that chicken there, it was really nice, but unfortunately the weather front's coming in really, really bad. Um, we're up for staying, I'd really like to, however, the car's parked in the road. It's a mega, mega small road, really uh, narrow country road and it's, it never gets gridded or anything. So if they leave the car there, it'll probably get snowed in and we'll be proper stranded here. And we'll turn into a real survival scenario, um, and plus I have to get back to work eventually. So. Um, we're going to have to unfortunately call it a night there, I'm, I'm absolutely gutted. Um, but sometimes you just have to weigh up the pros and cons and is it worth it? Um, you know, no I can survive these temperatures, no bother. Like the last time I was out here, um, it was the same temperature and it was fine. However, it's just that snow and I don't have a Land Rover like we did the last time. So you would end up stranded. Um, there is currently a red warning for snow at the minute. And people are starting to panic buy things from the shops. So I figured it's best getting the car out of there just so it's not snowed in tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be anything worse. And hopefully we're not snowed in now because it, it's so heavy. But we'll get packed up and we'll bug out, I think. So back to the car. The roads are all really snowed in and froze. So done the right, made the right choice. Deciding to get out. Back to the prep mobile and home, I think. Just back in. Um, gonna be body sugar there. Quite nice. Nice sweet. I think we made the right choice leaving there. I really, really didn't want to. But that snow was really, really bad for driving conditions. I mean, would have survived the night, no problem. I've been down to those temperatures before. Uh, and the shelter that we had set up was pretty good. The fire was heating it. We had some good food, as you've seen there. But when we got back to the car, the roads were just horrendous. It was sliding all over the place. Um, we'd end up getting stranded there. Um, I maybe should have picked a site that we could walk to. Instead, I didn't realise it was going to be a red weather warning coming in so quick. Um, so it just wasn't worth it um, uh, getting stranded there. It would have been a proper survival scenario. I mean, I wouldn't have minded that so much, but it's just that I had work to go back to and such. So we kind of need my car. But good fun anyway. You've seen there, I tried out my new knives. I tried out the Mora Garberg, which you can see there, that spark. Really, really impressive. Really, really powerful. Um, that's the first time that I've ever started a far first go with one strike with a ferro rod. It was just amazing. 
K bar was good as well. You mightn't have been able to see so well because it was getting so dark. But see for chopping we branches off the trees and feathering. Absolutely amazing. Such a good knife. Such a robust and strong knife. So I've got in there and I've just deserviced all my kit of uh, washed the metal work um, and everything I've used. Um, and I'll put some oil in that as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Short and sweet, but you know, still got the, got out there, had a good time, you know, got a good shelter up, uh, had a good fire going and uh, a lovely delicious dinner. That chicken was amazing, it was just falling off the bone. Absolutely fantastic. So so good. Um, and I can't wait to get back to that site again. That is a really, really good site. Uh, so it is the only problem with it is with conditions like this driving wise because you have to drive to get there um, and it's such a narrow road it's, it's just so far off the broken track so I'll definitely be back there again there's some really good sites I've found that I'm going to be exploring soon there's a derelict castle that I found I'll be going back there I'll take you there with me um, and when the spring comes this mystical spring that they're all talking about it's, it's going to be brilliant um, I can't wait so I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, stay safe out there and get out there and enjoy the good outdoors.